Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna have a look how we can create this kind of tire. Uh, not the rim, just a tire. So, one part of the modeling proce process that I never quite really liked is when you have to commit to the changes. You know, like you're, you're for example, modeling in Maya and you look at your model and now, now you have to come to the beveling part and you have to commit to the bevels because once you do them you can quite go back I mean yes this, there's some history but you have to delete it anyway so that doesn't quite work so I, I never quite really liked that at some certain point you have to commit to the changes and just go go along with, what, with whatever you have and um, yeah that's that can be sometimes tough especially when you find out okay I, I could have done this better this this proportions is not quite what I really like so then what are your options to either leave it like that or or you can go back and repeat the steps all over again and this can be this can be time consuming time consuming and at the end of the day you can take all the steps again and then then you realize okay I'm again not really happy how it turned out but I don't have any other choice I would have to go back again and do it all over again now and this is why I like Houdini because if you set up your process cor correctly and efficiently you can actually make changes on the fly for example in here if I want to make the tire smaller I can do it interactively bigger no problem so there's a lot of power in this process and you can automate a lot of a lot of stuff and a lot of steps and then the, the repeating process actually becomes fun because you set it up and you you can make changes and be very creative so I hope you can see the flexibility that this setup will offer you so let's jump right to it and Let's create it. Mm -hmm. 